Hello, my name is Julie Bauckham, and the Historical Society of Mendocino County and I are proud to present The Great Earthquake of April 18, 1906, in Mendocino County. The earthquake occurred at 5.12 a.m. and was estimated between 7.9 and 8.25 in magnitude, with the epicenter estimated to be just offshore where the Golden Gate Bridge is located today. 25,000 buildings toppled. The ground ruptured for 270 miles and upwards of 1,000 people died and 300,000 homeless in the San Francisco area. But what happened here in Mendocino County? But first, let's look at the San Andreas Fault as it runs through California from just south of Eureka all the way down to the Salton Sea near San Diego. The fault marks the boundary between the Pacific Plate on the west and the North American Plate on the east side. And it moves in a right lateral motion, mostly horizontal. That is, if you are standing on one side of the fault looking across, that side will move to your right. In green, you can see the extent of the fault rupture during the 1906 earthquake and the location of the epicenter. There are four active faults known to pass through Mendocino County, with the San Andreas Fault being the largest, forming the boundary between the Pacific and North American tectonic plates. The San Andreas Fault goes out to sea at Alder Creek near Manchester and continues off Mendocino and Fort Bragg approximately five miles offshore, terminating near Ferndale. The three other faults to the east are subsidiary faults of the San Andreas system, with the Mayakama Fault forming the beautiful valleys inland, starting with the Sunel Valley in Hoplin, the Ukiah Valley, Little Lake Valley, and Laytonville Valleys. There were nine large earthquakes that were felt in Mendocino County, particularly coastal Mendocino County, within a span of 70 years, from 1836 until 1906. The largest one prior to the 1906 was the April 14th and 15th, 1898 earthquake, where many buildings in Fort Bragg, Albion, and Mendocino were damaged. The ancients of China coined 1906 the year of the fire horse, a time of grave unpredictability where strange events are inclined to occur. January 31st, 1906, an earthquake and tsunami off Ecuador where 2,000 perished. 16 days later, in the Caribbean near Martinique, a swarm of volcanic eruptions occurred. Five days later, after that, a large earthquake in the Caucasus Mountains. And four weeks later, on March 17th, the island of Formosa, there was a large earthquake with 1,228 died near Taiwan. April 18th, 1906, San Francisco earthquake, 700 to 1,000 died with up to 300,000 homeless. And then in mid-August of 1906, in Chile, an 8.3 earthquake where 20,000 perished. 1906 was the most seismically dangerous year of the century and was only overtaken in 2004 in the early 21st century with the earthquake and Sumatran tsunami where 280,000 perished, along with the Iran earthquake and volcanic eruptions around the world. Here are some of the damage shown in old photographs starting in Fort Bragg, which was the most populated city in Mendocino County in 1906. The wood-framed buildings were knocked off their foundations and severely damaged, sitting askew. The Hardell building, located on the southwest corner of Laurel and Franklin Streets, had its roof collapse. The fire in Fort Bragg was reportedly started by a coal oil stove overturning at the home of Mrs. Bleeber on McPherson Street. 
The fire burned along a solid square block and a half and another square block in the center of Fort Bragg, burning all the buildings to the ground. The fire company had to run a line to the ship the National City docked in Noyo and pumped seawater into town to put the fire out since all the water lines were severed. In the lower right-hand corner, you can see the great fire in San Francisco, which covered a much greater area, many, many city blocks. In Point Arena, Lillian Sterling, who was in the sixth grade at the time, recalled the following. The high school and grammar school in Point Arena went up in flames, reportedly from the chemicals in the chemistry lab. The Methodist church next door also burned. Many refugees from the fire in Fort Bragg camped out in the center of town, and many camped near their burned-out homes. Fort Bragg sustained major damage to its city, which is well documented in photographs. Here are more examples of wood frame buildings in Fort Bragg that collapsed or were left leaning, with some completely destroyed. The brick home on Main and Pine lost some of its facade but remarkably remained standing. The Big River Sawmill next to Mendocino Village was totally destroyed. The famous 1864 smokestack made of one million bricks came down along with the 15-ton flywheel, which cracked in several places. It was difficult to replace since it was built in San Francisco, which now lay in ruins. All the water pipes broke, including the new 20,000-gallon water tank at the mill, and the mill's main building was knocked off its foundation. In the village, most of the chimneys fell through the roofs, and all the water pipes burst. In 1906, San Francisco had a population of 400,000 and lost approximately 1,000 people during the earthquake. Santa Rosa had a population of 8,700 and lost 137 people. Mendocino County had a population of 20,000 in the entire county, and only four men were reported to be killed in our county by the earthquake one on the coast from a heart attack, two men, one in Fort Bragg and one in Willits from a brick wall collapsing on them, and a Chinese man of unknown causes. A lumber schooner, the Brooklyn, pictured here, was docked in the Mendocino Bay at the time of the great earthquake. It was a wooden steam schooner built in 1902 with a capacity to hold 350,000 board feet of lumber. Captain Kruger of the Brooklyn stated that during the earthquake, his vessel raised up out of the water, shook herself, and fell back again with a heavy jar as if she had struck a rock. Peak ground acceleration is the maximum ground acceleration that occurs during an earthquake shaking and is usually measured by modern day instruments. This observation described by Captain Kruger may have been the result of a peak ground acceleration that momentarily exceeded the force of gravity in Mendocino Bay. Also noted on November 8th of 1930, the Brooklyn foundered on a bar in Humboldt Bay with all hands lost except the second mate, who was rescued several days later, clinging to a hatch cover. Nineteen lives were lost. Along the headlands of Mendocino, every pile of lumber tumbled, and the tracks were covered with lumber. The large water tank at the boiler near the timber chute fell into the bay, taking a large section of the bluff with it completely filling the blowhole at the Mendocino Bay. In the village of Mendocino, many chimneys fell as houses shook. People took to sleeping outside and groups gathered in the street around bonfires. Along the headlands, every pile of lumber tumbled and fell. The Big River Bridge lost an entire span into the river. 
The Occidental Hotel was knocked off its foundation, and all the furniture was tossed around the rooms, and most chimneys fell. Two railroad bridges collapsed and the tracks damaged. Stores in town sustained heavy damage, including broken glass windows and merchandise thrown down. The high school building fell off its foundation and nearly all the monuments in the cemetery were knocked down. In Point Arena and Manchester, the earthquake demolished the towns. Along Main Street Point Arena, many brick buildings were destroyed. Every building was damaged. Houses knocked off their foundations. Lillian Sterling, who was in the sixth grade at the time of the earthquake, recalls the high school in Point Arena went up in flames, reportedly from the chemicals in the chemistry lab falling to the floor and mixing. The Methodist church next door also burnt to the ground. The telephone was destroyed, so news from the outside was slow to arrive. Fault surface rupture, sometimes called mole tracks, was noted between Alder Creek and Garcia River along orchards and farms. The Alder Creek Bridge along Highway 1 came down. The concrete abutments are still visible today. The lighthouse tower was wrecked but did not fall, but the lens broke in many pieces. Publications at the time recorded an offset in a right lateral motion of 21 feet. Today, here in Mendocino County, on the Scarmella Ranch near Manchester, you can see a line of eucalyptus trees that were offset during the 1906 earthquake. You can see my students standing on either end of the eucalyptus trees, which measured approximately 24 feet of offset. We find today that after large earthquakes, the fault can continue to creep after the large earthquake for days or weeks and might result in the differential between the noted 21 feet in 1906 and what we measured later in Mendocino County. In Navarro, only three houses were left standing. The hall, church, and schoolhouse all knocked from their foundations. Horseshoe bend flat along the Navarro River slid into the river and the bridge was twisted at both ends sinking, which may have been another example of the effects of liquefaction. Liquefaction is the transformation of loosely packed saturated sediment into a fluid mass following a disturbance such as an earthquake. In Albion, most all businesses and houses suffered major damage as other localities, and the mill was rendered unsafe, the Albion Bridge badly damaged and also unsafe to travel across. Now the spoiler has come. Does it care? Not faintly. It has all time. It knows the people are a tide that swells and in time will ebb and all their works dissolve. I hope we have learned from the great earthquake of 1906 because we are destined to experience a great earthquake in our future. Thank you.